Catch up with recent tech developments with our regular analyst, Craig Scarborough. Well, Craig, an amazing weekend in New York. jean Eric winning the Drivers' Championship. Mm -hmm. Probably very much deserved. We had him here mm -hmm. in the studio after Uruguay and all, all to lose then. And he mm. uh, didn't look good for a while, but no. beautiful result for him. But then Audi winning the Constructors' Championship, the Team Championship, and yet after four races, they were dead last. What a result for them. Yeah, it's <clears> been, um, it seems to be a very long season. Obviously, it, it, it spans over from last year to this year. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, many more races this year as well. But yeah, Audi, um, you know, through uh, pre-season testing, we knew they were coming in. We knew they'd done lots to their powertrain, done lots of testing over at their uh, factory. Both cars, always competitive, yeah. always there. Both cars getting great results. And I think the Constructors' Championship is, is wholly merited for them. You know, they're the ones that really did the job through the year. And obviously, we, we must be a little bit worried now for next year if they get a flying start. Mm. And an interesting reflection on Audi's position in world motorsport. They pull out of the WEC. Alan McNish, team principal of the Formula E team, mm -hmm. which adds some colour and some life to the whole thing as well. Mm. And they win the championship. So good on Alan and good on Audi for a good call because right now they're in a prime position to take on the heavyweights, and we have some big ones yeah. coming to the championship. Let's just talk through those, BMW to name but one. What's the take at the moment on the Gen 2 car? How's it been going in testing? How quick is it? How much more downforce does it have? Um, everyone's been very positive about it, as perhaps you would expect, both on the visual side. I mean, I, I've seen it for, for real now. Uh, I've not seen it run on track, which uh, I'm desperate to see it moving. Yeah. It looks even better in real life, uh, static, than it even does in some of the photographs. The car will be a lot quicker, especially in qualifying, when you get 250 kilowatts now mm. of power. That be impressive. In the race, maybe th th there isn't the increase in, in the race performance, but then we have to remember that this car will now run the whole race with no driver swaps, which is mm. really important. Yeah. One battery, one powertrain per driver per season obviously Impressive. penalties there if there's anything going on. So, you know, this new car and this new season is shaping up to be absolutely fascinating.